Hi everyone, welcome to Film Bets. I'm your host, Paul Dixon, and I just made a funny before we started, and with me is my co-host, Dan Young. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, throwing off you are. Today we're going to watch the trailer for The Sympathizer. Now, Dan doesn't know anything about this. I don't know anything as far as the story goes, but I do know who stars in it, and I'm not going to say who, Dan. Can can I can I take it just just a swing at this? Can I try to guess what it is since I know nothing about it? Swing away. Okay. So, I just just kind of a, a quick 10-second synopsis. I'm going to say it's about a dude that knows exactly how you're feeling. I'm going to say no, <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't seen the trailer. Let's watch it. <laughs> Fair enough. So did you kill anyone? With my own hands? No. No, I never killed anyone. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Wow. We were all marching. Wow. We were on your side. Really? And which side was that? Uh side of the Vietnamese people. Yeah. The people in the north or the people in the south? Well, all of them, I guess. <laughs> I oh. guess we all look the same after all, right? Ooh. Oh, wow. I mean, I could be the economic Interesting. Girl, you know. The spy. How would you know? <laughs> I'm not, of course. I love America. <laughs> Here wow. In America, we welcome people like you. Are you sure you guys are refugees? This is intense. What if I told you that I was a communist undercover? Welcome to the world of spycraft. We sent you to America so you could be our mold. Wow. But what happens to a mold? When it is suddenly thrust into the sun. This is counterintelligence. It gets wet down here. What are you concealing? I don't know if I can go on like this. Đây là một nhiệm vụ tự sát. Cuộc đời là một nhiệm vụ tự sát. How about this? You work for me while pretending to work for them. You're a spy and a counter spy at the same time. You're a spy, right? Well, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I get you all serious, man. You'd be a terrible spy. Wow! So that was the trailer for The Sympathizer. Something I want to notice or point out that I noticed, uh, if you look at the end credits, it doesn't say HBO Max anymore. They've mm. changed their name officially to Max, and I hate it. But because <laughs> they are but no it's longer still HBO. HBO. What? Wait, yeah. really? So, so HBO is gone. No, no. Check this out. The name of it now will be called Max, and the slogan is. The place you go to watch HBO. So stupid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and look, look, I, I've i worked for them. I love them. I think HBO is one of the best streaming services out there. I, I No doubt. I think this is a terrible idea for a name. Uh, HBO just has so much behind it, so much prestige in this. Uh, I, and we'll see I, I, how this works. But anyways, the trailer. Wow, Dan, give me your thoughts about it. The, the trailer itself looks just mind-blowing. Like, I'm impressed, and I am excited to see Robert Downey Jr. kind of kind of do his, his Tropic Thunder thing. You know, he's, he's, he's <laughs> yes, going to be a yes. dude playing another <laughs> dude. <laughs> Disguised <laughs> like, as another dude. Oh and my God! There's another dude. Like he's gonna no, do I, it. No, I think Robert Downey Jr. has been <laughs> has been kind of dormant since Iron Man. Oh yeah, you know, in Endgame, and I feel like he's finally uh, making films again and and doing what he, he's doing really good material. I think I think we're gonna see a lot of great Robert Downey Jr. in the next couple of years. I know he's got Oppenheimer coming out, including this. Uh, I'm excited junior. as hell. Junior? The junior? documentary about his... Oh, Senior. Sorry, oh, not Junior. They have senior. Like junior? See, I'm... That's, I'm... The, se that's the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I really think this is going to be something special because I don't know if you've ever seen Old Boy. No, I haven't. Man, I'm not talking about the one that was remade with Josh Brolin. I didn't even look at that. 
I don't care. The original one is a masterpiece of a film. And I, that's not being hyperbolic. Go watch that movie. It okay. is phenomenal. Uh, this is the same director, and I'm here for it. I actually had recently seen the greatest beer run ever, or the it's like the greatest beer run, or, or whatever. It's the one it's with Zach Afron, remember. right? Yeah, we, that was that, one of the first. That was the first trailer, one of the first trailers we ever watched. Yep, and I I, I did finally get around to watching that movie. And was it good? I heard terrible things. <laughs> it it was actually really fun. I I enjoyed okay. it. it. It was it was an interesting watch to see the his his progression from super pro war to realizing that you know maybe what's going on over there isn't okay. Okay. And I think that this movie is is going to take that same time, or not, not movie. It's a show, isn't it? Because it's on, you know, I be- I be- Max. Well, I, they do they do movies sometimes directly. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to look, but so it, it, I just think it's going to be interesting to see it from the the opposite side of you know the Vietnam War and and to see the spy and and how interwoven he's going to get into you know. American culture to see where he ends up and and see how this plays out because you know it's it's just got a little sprinkle of history in there and then it's just gonna go balls out crazy. What do you think? Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think uh, I love spy movies in general. I think this has a lot of potential uh, to be very fascinating and uh, compelling from that point of view of somebody who's I mean, like he said, you're a spy. Uh, uh, counter spying and spying on the counter spy it is like it gets confusing and it's like wait are you how do you keep that how would an individual keep that life in order how would they keep their lies from getting out of control i i think that's just so fascinating where do you where's the line drawn for what you're doing and who you are i mean at that point your your entire identity is just a scrambled mess and actually watching the americans makes me feel a lot like this is what that is. And it's just kind of these people who are, you know, trying to live in America as Russian spies and they end up, you know, at least one of them starts loving being an American and is like, why don't we deflect? Why don't we, wh- why are we still working for Russia who, you know, when we're so happy and we got a family now, we got kids and, and, and the woman that he's with was an assignment. You know, she's not somebody he wanted to fall in love with or anything like that. She's just, she's doing her job and he's supposed to be doing his job. So I, I, I find that stuff always very fascinating. And I think there's a lot of potential with that here too. Oh yeah, I do too. Yeah. Uh, so as Park Chan-wook, uh, as the director, he made Old Boy, of course. And now I haven't seen any of his other work, which is a shame because there's a lot of stuff on my watch list that he's made, which includes The Handmaiden and Decision to Leave. And I hear those are, again, masterpieces. He's also done a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to check out more of his work. I have a feeling this is going to be another masterpiece of his. So I always love to, to see what Robert Downey Jr. can can do like it's it's definitely it's like watching one of the greats I yep. mean, it, because it is one of the greats and it's, yeah. it's just always fun to watch him do what he does so this is gonna be no different um on top of being able to take his range and pair it with other actors to to just see where they end up because how do I put this he has this way of taking even like ben stiller in tropic thunder he brought everyone forward instead of it just being this this stupid comedy which it was still a comedy and it was still mildly stupid at times it just turned into this fantastic movie no even if it was over the top so i i don't see why this would be any different you know just just with what he's setting out to do and where he wants to go He's going to bring everyone up to an elevation where they're going to have a lot more open room to do what they're going to do. And I'm excited to see how those actors and actresses are going to rise to that. Well, anytime they're outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which, you know, no shade to them being in the universe and their acting is obviously why they got to that point. Mm-hmm. But anytime you think of somebody outside of the cinematic universe, they, they always do just such great work. Scarlett Johansson did Marriage Story. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeremy Renner's guy's on TV show now, uh, you know, and he did Hawkeye, too. But uh, by the way, I'm so glad he's alive and doing well. Uh, it's just such Me a too. It, it 
it, it fills my heart with such joy to see him show up on like Jimmy Kimmel and just, you know, he's dancing on stage. It's like, dude, you, you're amazing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Chris Hemsworth, it's a guy, his own show where he's traveling the world, you know, uh, they're, they're always doing great things. These actors always have something, you know, beyond just, we, we could just say, oh, well, they just, you know, Chris Evans goes to do Captain America and he's, that, that's all he's good that, for. No, that, no, that, that dude, dude is talented. From... Not another teen movie. If y'all haven't seen that, you need to up. go and watch that and brace yourself. Like, just go yeah. watch the trailer. And and <laughs> remember, it's not a Sunday. It's a banana split. It's a banana split. What did you think of the trailer for The Sympathizer? Are you excited for this film showcasing Robert Downey Jr.? Leave your thoughts down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our other segments. Thank you so much, veterans, for watching and for your service. And thank you, Dan, for joining me today. Absolutely. This we we started to meander, but we we got back on track. Yeah, because I stopped it. I stopped. Yes, the you train did. You tracks. You uh, <laughs> you you definitely you definitely derailed me there. So for the best, I, I sympathize the hell out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>